Hello YouTube and welcome to Adobe XD tutorial series. So uh, Adobe XD is a recently released new software by Adobe which is used to create mock-up designs especially for mobile applications. So if you were to uh, start up Adobe XD you can see that uh, there are various layout options right here which you can choose from and this is great uh, to create interactivity and to test out how your software, uh, software will look in uh, a mobile device. So this is uh, by Adobe. So if you are familiar with Photoshop or Illustrator, then uh, you, you will quite uh, get used to the interface right here. And there are a few changes uh, uh, fr from the interface from Photoshop and Illustrator. We are going to look at that in this tutorial right here. So once you open up the Adobe XD software, you can see that uh, it asks you what you want to design your uh, Adobe X, um, um, your prototype for. So you can see by default there's iPhone 6 and 7. If you were to click here, you can see that there's iPhone SE, you know, there's Android Mobile, and on the iPad side you can see iPad Pro, Android Tablet, Surface Pro, or even for Windows, and there are also um, web, uh, web uh, selection right here. But usually we go for um, iPhone and Android mobile phone uh, device uh, prototype design in the software right here. So another one is you can also do custom size. So if you were to click this, you can define the area of the canvas that you want to design for uh, in the software right here. So over here, you can see that there's UI kits which you can access. So you can access some wireframes for and UI kits for iOS, Google Material, and uh, Microsoft Windows. So this is how we'll start. So we'll start with the basic interface. So let us start by designing um, um, designing a canvas. So let's uh, select the canvas right here. I'm going to select Android Mobile. And by default, you can see that now uh, an Android Mobile canvas is actually here. So you can see that the canvas is right here. And we are ready to design for the Android, um, uh, for the Android Mobile phone and create a prototype for any application we desire to. So, hope you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.